Hello friend, welcome back. If you are new to DaVinci Resolve and you work on a Mac, most likely you've experienced issues when exporting color graded footage. What you see inside the Resolve viewer ends up different than what you see in QuickTime and is then different from what you see on YouTube or Vimeo or Instagram. Contrast will look different and skin tones will look washed out. And if you are new to the world of color grading and color management, this topic can be incredibly intimidating. And if you spend just five minutes reading a few forum posts, I can guarantee you that you'll be more confused than before. So knowing that, we're gonna keep things super simple today. This video is for beginners working on a Mac. We aren't going to get into the technical details of what is going on here in every possible scenario where you would want to do something different. Just a simple fix to get consistent exports from Resolve. And so just so you guys know what machine I'm working on, this is a MacBook Pro 14-inch 2021. It is the M1 Pro, 16 gigs of RAM, and it has the Apple XDR display. And I think the first setting I just want you guys to double check is in your system settings, you go to displays, just double check your preset. So I have this set to Apple XDR display. That's what it comes default. If you have any of these other ones selected, your screen is gonna look really different. I don't know if that translates through the screen recording, but it drastically shifts the colors. So my guess is this is already set, but double check. Um, if you're on a different Mac, you might have different ones set here by default. But for me, Apple XDR display is how it comes out of the box. And that's what we're gonna go with. Okay, so diving into DaVinci Resolve, you guys will see I'm on Studio 19, 19.0.3. And when you first load up Resolve, you're gonna want to go to your preferences and just double check a few settings. So if you scroll down here and click on general, double check that your settings look identical to mine. The big two you're gonna to wanna to make note of is use 10-bit precision in viewers if available and use Mac display color profiles for viewers. If those haven't been selected, go ahead and select them and then hit save. You will most likely now need to restart DaVinci if that is the first time you have changed those settings. Once those are set, then you're gonna navigate down here to your project settings and it'll load here on this first tab titled master settings, but we're gonna to go to color management. And again, this video is for beginners. We're just gonna be working with the default DaVinci YRGB. We're not gonna be talking about a color manage or ACES workflow. If you are diving into that, you are more advanced and this video is not for you. So we're gonna stay in DaVinci YRGB. We're not gonna change anything. And right here, we're gonna set our timeline color space to Rec. 709A. If you see something different like Rec. 709A Gamma 2.4 or 2.2 or Scene, you're gonna to want to change this to Rec. 709A, that is specifically for Apple devices. And then output color space, you're gonna to wanna to set this to same as timeline. Now that those are set, before you come down here and save, you guys will see these are specifically project settings. And so if we want these to apply to any project moving forward, you wanna come up here to the three dots, select this that says set current settings as default preset. If you select that and hit update, now all projects moving forward will have these settings. You won't have to come in here and change them each time. If you are changing these settings for the first time, it is gonna change what you are seeing in here in the preview window in Resolve. So if you have a project 99% done, I would not encourage you to do this. Otherwise, you're gonna go back and have to tweak your whole grade. So set this up on a new project, test with some clips, make sure it's working well for you, and then implement this workflow moving forward on all future projects. Now that we have all of those settings set, you can go ahead and close Resolve and restart it, reload your project just to make sure everything is good to go. You can now just color grade as normal. All the footage you guys have seen in this video was color graded with my LUTs and film effects in just a few clicks. And so you guys will see here is footage shot in F-Log2, quickly graded with my LUTs, and then finished with my film effects for a little bit of a softer look. The final step I wanted to make a note of is your export settings. I recently had a friend who went through all of these same settings and was still having issues with his exports and it ended up being in the export settings panel. So if you navigate over to the deliver tab, you guys will see we've got all our export settings here on the left. I did a whole video on my favorite export settings for Resolve. And so I'm going to link that down below if you are interested in checking it out. But the big ones we want to take a note of here as we scroll down, you just wanna double check that your color space tag, your gamma tag, and your data burn-in all say same as project. And then we're gonna want our data level set to auto. I think my friend had this set to either video or full, and that was the issue that was completely changing what his color grade looked like after export. I've always had a good experience just leaving it set to auto. So now that that is set, you can set your other export settings to your liking. Again, go check out my video if you're curious 
on mine like we did before you can set up a preset so if you guys have particular export settings and those aren't always staying the same for you feel free to set them and then set up a new preset simply give it a name and then hit save you can now access it right here anytime make sure your exporting process go really fast Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. And final note I wanted to add, if you have a different solution that is equally as beginner friendly and produces really good results, I would encourage you to make a video about it. Sometimes I've seen on these videos, people leave kind of one or two sentence remarks that just adds to the confusion. Beginners don't know what to do with that. They don't know what you're talking about. And so we just encourage you to make a video if you have a different solution. This is what has worked well for me. I am consistently getting great results here in Resolve on my MacBook Pro, delivering projects to clients, posting on YouTube, posting on Vimeo, posting on Instagram, and I notice next to zero difference between what I'm grading and what I export. So hope this video would be helpful to you. Let me know any questions down below and I will see you in the next one. Peace.